Hello friends, my name is Bhushan, back again with another video. In this video, we will set up our database and also we will set up the Java project. So, let's get started. Since we are developing a database application, we need a database. But I have already installed a MySQL database on my machine. So, I will use the same MySQL database throughout this video series. You can use any other database you want. It is not compulsory to use the same database. So, Let's get started. Let's flip to our MySQL database. And uh, so the next step is to create a database. To create a database, we will use a create command. Create database and the database name. You can give any name you want, but it is always recommend to give a meaningful names. So the database name I'm going to give fx demo and to execute the command, press control enter. The command has been executed and if you refresh the explorer you can see the database has been created so now we have to create a table so in, or in order to create a table inside this database first we have to select the database so to select the database we will use use command so use the database name that is fx demo press ctrl enter the command has been executed and the database has been selected. Now let's create a table. So in order to create a table we will use create command. Create table table name. Again you can give any name you want but it's always recommend to give a meaningful names. So since we are creating an employee table I will call the name as employee. And Let's create a columns. So the first column that we are going to create ID column and which is of integer type and it is a primary key and it is an auto increment and it is an odd number. So the second column is first name which is of type back hat and it is allowed 45 characters and it is an odd number. The third column is last name, which is also a varchar, which allows 45 characters and it should be not null. The last column, email, which is also a varchar type, it allows 45 characters and it should be not null. Alright, now execute the command. Press Ctrl Enter, the command has been executed. So if you go to your database and double click on this, as you can see, the table has been created. All right, we have set up our database. Now, the next step is to set up our Java project. So before setting up our Java project, let me clarify one more thing that since we are developing a database application, we will use a design pattern. The design pattern that we are going to use in this video series is a DAO design pattern. So the whole idea of the DO design pattern is that the business logic does not directly communicate with our database. Instead, it will communicate with the DAO layer and the DAO layer is responsible for performing the operations. So the DAO layer will act as a middle layer. So in future, if you want to change anything, then we will change it in our DAO layer and that will not affect to our business logic. So that's the whole idea of the DAO design pattern. All right, now let's set up our Java project. So in order to develop a Java project, we need a IDE. So I have already installed an NetBeans IDE on my machine. So I will use NetBeans IDE throughout this video series. You can use any other IDEs you want. It is not compulsory to use the same IDE. So let's flip to our NetBeans IDE. So now let's create a Java FX project. In order to create a FX project, go to File, New Project, and select the Java FX. And in the Projects tab, select the Java FX application. Click Next and give a name to your project. YouTube Demo. And click Finish. So the project has been created. Alright, we open this project. 
and inside the source packages we will create a five packages model package view package controller package util package and a main package all right let's create those five packages all right so we have created a four packages now let's create a classes so inside the controller classes we will create an employee controller go to new create a java class and we'll give a name as employee controller hit finish and inside the main create our main class it is main application hit finish and inside the model create two classes the one is a employee class finish and create one more class that is employee DAO hit finish and inside the util create a database helper class that is db util and in the view create an empty fxml file and let me give a name as employee view dot fxml hit finish all right so the last thing is we need to add a jar file to our library folder for that right click on this library and click on add library and search for mysql jdbc driver so select this and choose add to library so the jar file has been added to our library so all right we have set up our database and we have created our uh, java project and also we have uh, created the uh, packages all right so in the next video we will design our employee view so thank you so much for watching i will see you in next video